For this tutorial, we're going to go in and take a look at how to upgrade your WordPress. And this is pretty easy. There are a bunch of steps to it, but once you see how we do it, it will all make sense. The first thing we're going to do is back up our database that has my site in it. Now, Bluehost has Site Backup and Restore, but if your hosting company doesn't have that, you may need to go down to the Databases section and look for the MySQL Database Wizard. I'm going to use the Site Backup and Restore, and instead of just restoring the database, I want to go ahead and do a full cPanel backup, and that's going to be for everything, my databases, my pictures, everything. That way, if I accidentally mess something up, I can go back in, reinstall my entire site, and we won't really have lost anything but time. So do a full panel backup, a daily system backup. I'm going to switch this to Zip Archive, and I'm going to click Start Archiving. Then it's going to give me the option to click here to download, and I'm going to download the archive file to my computer. That way, if something goes wrong, I can come back in and fix it. I'm going to go back out to my cPanel and I'm going to go into the plugins on my website and I'm going to deactivate each plugin before I take these files off. The quickest way is to click the button on the top to click them all, go to bulk actions and then click on deactivate. Once they're deactivated I'm going to go back into the cPanel and we're going to take a look at which files we need to delete and which ones need to be left. So I'm going to go into file manager into my web root because that's where my file is with my WordPress site and click on go. In my manually folder which is where I'm keeping my WordPress site I'm going to choose all of the files not the folders just the files by clicking on the top file which happens to be index and then clicking on shift and click on index scroll to the bottom of the list and still holding shift click the last one if you have a file that's titled wp-config.php, you want to make sure that you click Control or Command and then click off on that file because you don't want to delete that one. If you don't have it, but you should, we're going to go up and just click Delete to get rid of those files. And click Delete. So now we're left with the folders. Let's take a look at what we need to leave in the folders. The first one we're going to look in is WP Content this file we are not going to delete. However, if you have a cache file in here, you're going to delete that. We're also going to go ahead and take a look in the plugins folder. And if you have a file in there that says backslash widgets, you'll get rid of that. But you can see we also have the Akismet folder, which is a plugin file, and I'm going to delete that as well. Then I'm going to go back out into my manually folder. If you have a WP-Images folder, you want to make sure you leave that on your server. You're also going to want to check for a WP-Includes backslash languages folder, which I don't have a languages folder in my WP-Includes, but if you're using a language file, you'll want to leave that there too. Don't delete it. Next, if you've added any custom rules to your .htaccess file, don't delete it and leave your robot.txt file if you have one of those. Since I don't have any of those files to worry about, I'm just going to go ahead and save all of my files and delete them. Next we're going to go to wordpress.org and we're going to download the WordPress 3.4 which is going to be used as our upgrade. We're going to save the file to our computer and here are my extraction results and I'm going to click close and reload. Open up my WordPress file, shift and click all of the files, open up my public HTML folder so I can see my manually folder and then click on my bottom file and drag it into manually to get it into the right place. And there it is, all of my files. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in to my WordPress dashboard once you log into the WordPress site, you can figure out if you have any upgrades that are available by going up into your address bar and after the wp-admin backslash, type in upgrade.php. And you'll come to a screen that will tell you if your database is up to date. And I'm going to click continue.
Once all of that is done, we're going to go into our dashboard, into our settings, and check our permalinks. Make sure that all of your permalinks are correct. Then you're going to go back into your plugins and you're going to reactivate all of your plugins. So that's how we go ahead and upgrade our WordPress page. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out and I'll see you at the next tutorial.